Hello everyone, this is Coach Lana checking in and I just wanted to share some information with you today. Recently someone asked me what are some low glycemic high potassium foods, so I decided to do a little research. So let's start with the basics. Why do we need potassium? Potassium is a mineral found inside our cells of our body. It's one of several minerals known as electrolytes and we all need, know we need electrolytes. Um, these minerals are potassium, sodium, and chloride and they're found in the fluids inside and outside the body of our cells. So we need about 4,700 milligrams of potassium for today, per day. And potassium is important because it helps regulate the fluids and the electrolyte balance in our bodies, main, helps us maintain normal blood pressure, transmits nerve impulses, controls muscle contractions, including the heart, and it maintains healthy bones, which I thought was very interesting. Now, as far as the glycemic index goes, a food's glycemic index rates the speed at which your body metabolizes carbohydrates and the food's ability to increase your blood sugar. So all foods are really rated from 0 to 100. 100 being pure glucose, so 55 and below is considered low glycemic. So avoiding foods that create too much of an insulin reaction in your body is the key to controlling diabetes. Unfortunately, many foods that are rich in potassium also rate really high on the glycemic index. So this can become a challenge for people with diabetes. Here are some foods that are lower on the glycemic index but pack a potassium punch. Some of them were interesting, um, interestingly surprising to me. One of them was this one, sun-dried tomatoes at 3,400 milligrams are an excellent source of potassium. So are baked sweet potatoes with the skin at 508 milligrams, which are on the lower end um, of the glycemic index. Beet greens have 655 milligrams and a half cup. Celery has 300 milligrams. Um, a half cup of carrots has 177 milligrams. One radish. 47 milligrams, one cup of tomato, 400 milligrams, one cup of Swiss chard, 960 milligrams, a half cup of squash, 300 milligrams, half cup of spinach, 300 milligrams, and 100 grams of beans has 561 milligrams, or one cook of soybeans, one cup of soybeans has 972 milligrams. Nuts um, are about 100 to 200 milligrams, and one cup of sunflower seeds has 1,300 milligrams. I thought that was just fascinating. Some of those really shocked me because they're things that I don't usually eat. So it gives us the opportunity to maybe try some things in a different way. And when I was reading the list, I was thinking to myself, imagine if you combined some of the ingredients in a stew or a, sh a soup or a shake you have like a potassium super blend going on. So I hope you found that interesting. I just wanted to share that information with you. If you guys ever have questions or anything, please feel free to email me at coachlana at beachbodycoach.com and I would love to um, go ahead and make a video or an article just for you. All right, well, this is Coach Lana. I loved sharing this information with you, but I am out of here.